The great thing about Tesla is your subscription is that from a technology perspective, there's not much I need to say here. It is just pure open source Istio. Uh, we are not adding anything to it. We understand for that particular customer base, it's very important that there's no vendor added component. So all they're getting is uh, just Istio and we package it as Tetrate Istio Distro, which is just, it's basically us making it easier to get the distribution. Hi, this is your host Sapil Bharti and welcome to TR for Newsroom and today we have with us once again David Bang, Head of Product at Tetrate. David, it's great to have you back on the show. Yes, it's great to be here. Thank you for having me again. Just remind our viewers, what is Tetrate all about? Tetrate as a company is dedicated to helping organizations achieve security, network security and network and avail availability for their Kubernetes and microservices workloads. So we have a portfolio of products. Uh, such as Tetrate Service Bridge. And we talked earlier about Tetrate Service Express. And now we're going to talk about Tetrate Istio subscription. And I remember when we talked about when new folks announced Tetrate Service Express. So I also want to talk a bit about, you know, just also quick re recap, what is that? And then let's talk about Tetrate Istio subscription. What is the difference between the two? Is it a different audience? Is there different offerings? So let's just get into the details now. Our general goal is to provide security availability uh, for workloads. And the portfolio basically are different approaches to providing that to our end users. So what we talked about earlier, Tetris Service Express and Service Bridge, are meant for platform teams who are taking a transformational approach. They want a service mesh platform that extends um, beyond just uh, potentially even Kubernetes. They want um, ready-to-go services for app teams to deploy. That is, uh, we know that there's a different segment in the market and different set of users um, that just want to build their own on top of Istio. What they're looking for is somebody to help them with 100% um, pure open source Istio um, to get their objectives done. And they're not really looking to buy a proprietary platform. So for that, we have Tetrate Istio subscription. What we offer there is really three things. One is uh, enterprise support, um, global enterprise support with strict SOAs um, for 100% open source Istio. The second thing we offer is backporting CVEs beyond community support, CVE fixes. And that's very relevant because today we just were hearing about a new Envoy CVE that just emerged um, very recently. And um, the last one is to help people who are trying to operate Istio in a FedRAMP environment. They need FIPS verified cryptos, and we provide that um, to our customers. So same end state, more security and more availability, but different paths transformational with a ready-to-go platform or build your own with Istio. What does this subscription mean for Istio users who are using, because Istio is an open source project, of course, this is the whole model around open source, fully open source project, and then commercial support around that. So, so talk about it from that perspective and also uh, from the code basis perspective, from the technology's perspective. I would say the great thing about Tetrate Istio subscription is that from a technology perspective, there's not much I need to say here. It is just pure open source Istio. Uh, we are not adding anything to it. We understand for that particular customer base, it's very important that there's no vendor added component. So all they're getting is uh, just Istio and we package it as Tetrate Istio Distro, which is just, it's basically us making it easier to get the distribution. Um, to help them with their build pipelines. But we don't really do anything to Istio itself. And in terms of how we offer it, it's we, we try to make it simple um, such that, you know, all we are looking, the way we sort of scale our offering is by the number of uh, Kubernetes clusters, you know, you're installing Istio on. So um, everything about it is very simple because we understand for people who are building this platform, um, what they want is simplicity. So, um, and the idea is, with the CVE support and also the FIPS verified builds, it's all just about helping people who want to build on top of pure Istio, like a faster path into FedRAMP, or just a bit more headroom to 
perform their upgrades. It's much easier to perform a patch upgrade than a minor release upgrade. And when we look at the distro, STO distro, um, how close it's going to be uh, to the upstream? It is exactly the same, identical. Um, we don't really do anything to it. All we do is just make it easier for you to get to the, 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 same, the very same bits. Now, with the FIPS build, the difference is that we've built the same Istio code, but using uh, uh, the right crypto for FIPS to operate in a FedRAMP environment. Um, Istio itself is not altered. It's just how we build it. And we've in, we, we have engaged a third-party lab to verify that we've built the crypto correctly so that when you know our users do take this into a FedRAMP environment, there's proof that they are operating in compliance, like the software they're deploying, the issue they're deploying is in compliance with uh, FedRAMP needs. And uh, when we do look at, you know, uh, FIPS or FedRAMP, uh, do you see any scope or possibility where there are specific features or additional functionalities that these industries might need, uh, which you might end up offering, which will be something add on on top of STO? Yeah, we certainly see that as a possibility. I would say for now, we certainly already bake many of this into our platform offering, which is Tetris Service Express or Service Bridge. So uh, it just comes down to a little bit of how we see people wanting to get on the journey from where they are to like their end state. If they're ready for our transformational platforms, they should go with Service Bridge or Service Express. If the intent is to customize and build your own on top of true open source Istio, Tetrate Istio subscription is the way to go. STU was uh, in news last year also, the whole move to CNCF and graduation. Uh, the interesting thing with projects like STU is that they have been in production even before they get graduation from CNCF. So what does graduation actually mean? Or also uh, uh, when you announce general availability of things like you know STU subscription, I want to look at it from the confidence it builds within the user ecosystem, within the ecosystem itself, where you have all the other players, because a lot of folks are putting all their eggs in that basket of STO. It breeds confidence. I wholeheartedly agree. I think your observation is, is accurate, that there are more eggs in the STO basket now. Uh, I mean, I can... One interesting data point aside from product is just that, uh, you know, we have Tetrate Academy, which offers training and certification for people interested in Istio. You know, we've seen a lot of increasing interest from uh, for that and to the point where CNCF asked us to donate our um, Istio certification to them. And we've done so. So, you know, this would not have happened, uh, you know, this pool would not have existed if Istio is not becoming more popular. So what we see is that there's this, definitely this maturation for Istio demand to the point that there's now officially CNCF sanctioned um, certification now. We're happy to do it because I believe that is the right thing to do and we'll continue to play a big role in just training and educating Istio users in the market. In general, how much awareness you are seeing of service mesh STO, where you're like, hey, everybody knows about that. Like, we don't have to go out and tell why you should use the lamp is stuck in this kernel. So, or where you feel that now, uh, I mean, different markets are in different phases of adoption, and we still have to do a lot of, you know, awareness, education, all those drives. What, what are you seeing there? I do think it's still early for, the, I think for Istio, it's still a huge amount of opportunity ahead. You know, I think uh, we're past total confusion on what a ser what service mesh and Istio does. But I do think that there are a very large number of use cases. Um, with, then there's sort of no template in terms of how to approach these use cases or what's in sequence you should do them. It's also possible that, you know, there's just too much variety right now. So even though people, I think, understand the technology, they understand what the use cases are, there's still a lot of opportunity for um, folks to figure out what is the right sequencing of use cases and what's the blueprint um, to like actually deliver the value of service mesh. Um, and that's why I think like our dual path exists. You know, we have a, a strong opinion on how that value should be realized when we build that into the product of Service Express and Service Bridge. At the same time, we recognize it's we're early enough, so it's not one size fit all. So we're happy to support people who want to tackle the use cases in their own customized way through Tetrate Istio subscription.
Do you folks also do anything to kind of get a pulse on the industry, the ecosystem to better understand how either folks are using it or what are the challenges they are facing? Uh, just just to get you know an understanding of you know where it's heading or how you folks can actually help them further. So we contribute very actively to uh, projects in the ecosystem and we see so the sort of uh, issues people are raising and the kind of problems they're running into. Uh, I could be, I don't know the exact, but I think we're one of the, definitely one of the top contributors for Envoy and Istio. And it's really the, through our contributions and sort of monitoring the feedback of our contributions um, and what's going on in the community that we get a good sense of where people are with adoption and the state of Istio. Um, that's on the open source end, you know, on in terms of like our commercial end, we spend a lot of time with uh, big enterprise users, especially in the government and the FinServe sort of um, central platform teams to understand their roadmap and how they want to take service mesh adoption and what it means. Um, for us, spending time with both the users, like the platform team users, rank and file architects and developers, as well as the senior executives, like leaders of lines of business in retail banking, say, or central IT, say, EVP of infrastructure, we have frequent engagements with these different uh, different folks just to understand how they see business value and what they're doing to actually achieve the value. So the three-tier strategy we have in terms of understanding the, the overall market landscape is community contribution in open source. We intend to lead there. We have a ton of engagement with rank and file users and our enterprise customers, and we have frequent touch points with executives at our customers as well. We provide a ton of value enterprise support and uh, the uh, FIPS verification. But one, one thing that will become very apparent is the CVE backporting we do to help people run uh, Istio securely and uh, reliably. So there will be more CVEs emerging in the coming days. The community support is only eight months. We extend it to 14 months. Um, that will provide a lot of relief when you have a company like Tetrate sort of offering extended CVE support. People would not have to upgrade us as often. In minor versions. Since you talked about support, different projects, even Kubernetes, the discussions are also about the LTS versions or long-term supported version. Because when you look at you know enterprises, especially when you look at some of these critical technologies, they do want more than six or eight months or even one year support. They cannot move as fast as some of these communities move. Are you seeing any discussion on that, or you feel that no, it doesn't make much sense to have LTS kind of version for projects like STO? So we definitely see a pain in terms of platform teams or teams keeping up with STO upgrade cycles. Community support is only eight months, which is why in Tetrate ISTIO subscription, we've extended that support to longer term, 14 months. Um, and the, just to give you some ideas, like I think, you know, for it's very hard for, for these platform teams, which for most companies will never get bigger than single digits teams, for them to manage the life cycle uh, upgrade cycle of somebody that uh, of like an eight months like 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 end of life you know they would basically have to be constantly planning for upgrades and this impacts their end user experience because remember Istio at the end of the day is a place for um, application teams to develop to to deploy applications to so the the people who are running Istio need to think about that end user experience so having some long term support from a company such as Tetrate really provides the stability the stable experience that you know teams are running service mesh and Istio that really they need. Um, so we see that as a, a as an important thing to have for all companies running Istio. KubeCon is almost here. Of course, you folks will be making a lot of announcements. We cannot talk a lot of we cannot talk about a lot of things that you folks will be announcing, but just give us a glimpse what we should expect from Tetrate at the event. A lot of interesting things is happening on the Envoy side of the world right now. You know, I think certainly Envoy as part of Istio, we talked about extended support. You know, I think there's a lot of interesting innovation happening uh, in the Envoy gateway side of things. So, uh, you know, we should, I think folks who are watching this should check out Tetrate's uh, website announcements about what we've been doing with Envoy gateway and there will be more interesting things to come at KubeCon. David, thank you so much for taking time out today and, uh, of course, uh, talk about the, this new uh, subscription and also where the whole service mesh STO market is heading. Thanks for all those insights, and I would love to chat with you again. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here.